Hi, we're talking to Dr. Dan Popa, Professor of Electrical Engineering at the University of Texas at Arlington. Hi, Dr. Popa. We're glad you can Hi. meet with us this afternoon. Um, we just wanted to you to give us a little bit of background about yourself, and then we'll talk about your project um, regarding the robots you've used with autistic children. Okay, so uh, I conduct research and I teach in the Department of Electrical Engineering. Uh, my research area is in robotics and control systems. Uh, so we uh, work a lot with robots and we use robots in many different applications. Uh, one of them is uh, treatment of uh, children with autism. All right, and um, can you tell us specifically about Zeno and how you've um how he came about and what you're doing with him? Yeah, so uh, Zeno, the physical uh, robot with, uh, with the face that you see is a creation of uh, David Hansen uh, from Hansen Robotics. And Zeno is actually the name of his child. Oh. He named him after, uh, after his child. And the uh, idea was at the time to make a uh, uh, robot for kids, not for children with autism. Um, we have the so-called alpha version of this robot, the first version that was created, and we added a lot of control technology uh, to close the loop between what the robot does and uh, how it perceives the child. And then how specifically have you adapted this to be used with yeah. kids with autism? So, so the idea is, uh, in this research, is that there's ample evidence to suggest that uh, children with autism actually embrace technology. And mm -hmm. in fact, by age 15, uh, there's evidence that there's no distinction between uh, normal children and children with autism, as opposed to, uh, uh, in terms of skills with iPad, for instance, mm -hmm. or other electronic devices. Uh, so we conjecture that if exposed to a robot early on, uh, you know, in their childhood, by age uh, uh, 15, there will be no difference uh, between how they interact with this robot and, and uh, uh, compared with other kids. And so we can use the robot as a vehicle to teach them useful social skills mm -hmm. and perhaps uh, also investigate uh, other uh, quantitative ways to describe the severity of their condition by means of uh, interaction with the robot. All right. And what else? Is there anything else about Zeno that you're learning? So, so, because, so people have, uh, uh, many other researchers have used robots or are trying to assess robots uh, with, uh, for autistic children, but Zeno is unique in the sense that it is very human-like. Uh, it looks very unthreatening, and uh, we believe that that adds a different dimension to the way children interact with the robot. All right, and um, I guess next we'll have the video demonstrating what okay. Zeno can do. Okay. All right. Okay, great. Right. Here's a demonstration of our of Zeno. So, is he copying what you're doing? Yes. Whatever move I'm doing. So, whatever move you're doing, he's copying that. Good enough. All right.